My name is Jeff Rojas, and you're watching Kiss Photo, where we make photography easy. Now, changing your background color is easy, unless your background color is a similar color to your subject, or if your background has more than one color in it. Now, today's video is going to be a continuation of how to change your background color in 30 seconds, which is going to guide you through the process of changing colors of simple backdrops, but not every backdrop is easy. Now, if that's not something that you've watched already, I'd recommend doing so by clicking here. I'd also like to note that it's important to mention that there are several different ways to change your background color, but this is a method that I find most effective. With that, let's begin. Now the image that we're gonna be working on has a lot of red tones in it. The background's a shade of red, as is the model's hair and her skin, and so is her jewelry. Now what we're gonna do is isolate the tone of the background and focus on changing that specific color of red. What we're going to do is create a new adjustment layer and select Hue Saturation. We're going to go ahead and select the sample tool and select one of the colors in the background. That's going to go ahead and isolate the color channel of the background, which in this case is red. This is a great habit to keep in case you think your background is red when it's really magenta or vice versa. With that, we're going to go ahead and increase the saturation to 100%. This is gonna allow us to visually see the colors that we're directly affecting on that channel. As you can see in this image, most of my colors fall in that channel of red, aside from her dress and miscellaneous areas around her eyes. So what we're gonna do is select the fourth slider in the hue saturation toolbar to isolate the color red we wanna change. By sliding this specific slider left and right, we're gonna directly influence which tones that we want to work with within that channel. What we're looking for is to isolate the color of red that we want to work with, meaning that it's gonna have a lot of saturation. Now, when you see that most of the color that you're affecting is the color that you're trying to change, go ahead and zoom in close to your image. You're gonna see some bit of artifacting in that image and along the hair. Our goal then is to focus on making sure that the background has no artifacting whatsoever. And then we're gonna clean up the skin, hair, and clothing afterward. Now to verify your work, you're gonna drag your hue slider left and right until you don't see any artifacting on your background. While it sounds tedious, it allows you to isolate the color that you're working with and double check your work. Once you're confident in your selection, grab your brush tool, and start masking out any areas that you don't want to be affected. For example, we don't want her lips to be green, so we're gonna go ahead and mask those out. But we obviously don't wanna change her eye color right now, so we're gonna go ahead and paint those out as well. From here, we're gonna go ahead and paint out her hair as well, and any other areas that we don't want to see affected by our changes in colors. Perfect. Now we can change the hue, saturation, and lightness sliders to change the color of the background without affecting the skin color. You'll want to do so as you see fit, but be sure that you're not creating an additional artifacting on the background or changes will be evident. And that's it. I also wanna note again that this is one of many different ways to change your background color, but it's one of my favorite because it isolates the tones that you're trying to work with. I'll be sure to cover those at some point on this channel. If you guys found this video useful, please share it with your friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for free short tutorials like this one.